Hello Cancer, this is a singles read to see how you guys can find your next love. How can you, how can you attract them? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We'll start off seeing like, you know, how you guys are currently. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Cancer. Currently, I think you guys are very attached um, to something or someone. Um, I think that um, there is a level of obsessiveness going on with you here. Maybe a Capricorn individual that you are currently dealing with or that, um, you know, that is significant to you. But this is a level of obsession over something, um, overindulgence in some things even, okay? currently. Let's see what kind of person you guys normally attract. What kind of person does Cancer normally attract? Somewhat, somebody that's all about self, I feel. Somebody that um, they go for things that they feel like are serving them. Um, but I think that you know, usually is somebody that is kind of selfish, I feel, here. It's just what I'm getting with this card. Somebody that has, like, huge um, aspirations. And sometimes their aspirations probably can be um, a little, what's the word? Um, Non-realistic, you know? That type of individual. They have like really big dreams and they probably probably like change up what they want a lot. They have, you know, a lot of bright ideas and maybe with um, very little like follow through or they change up frequently here. Okay. Somebody that likes to travel. Somebody that likes to go out a lot. Um, I think this person is probably like... Um, very adventurous, very intriguing. They like different things. They probably have a different look about them. You know, they do not go with the norm. Okay. Let's see what you need to show off more here. I feel like this is you guys really like respecting yourself more, respecting what it is that you want, um, putting your needs first and foremost, loving yourself, having the confidence, um, being more forgiving, even, you know, loving people, um, even when they're not so good and they're not so good state. Okay. Let's see what you need to contribute. What does cancer need to contribute to a relationship? Cancer. Being able to move past things. Being able to let things go. Leaving the hurt behind. You know, sometimes you can be hurt and, you know, still try to push through it. Um, try to resolve those issues. But, you know, being able to move forward and um, forgive, I feel. You know, not feeling tied down to it, being free from it, freeing yourself from whatever issues have bothered you and being able to move past it, okay? Let's see what you must accept or need to accept about yourself. What does cancer need to accept about themselves here? Hmm. That they are somebody that I feel you guys are people that you establish very strong bonds with people. Um, people that you feel like um, you get really close really quick and your attachment um, is due to the fact that you feel at home with this person. You feel like you know this person. Um, you guys probably get attached very quickly here. 
feeling like this person is the one or that person is the one um, very quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of love you guys need. What kind of love does Cancer need? One where it's reciprocated. One where it's it's true and unwavering. Um, one where there's chemistry. One that's undeniable. Okay. One where it's reciprocated here. Okay. Let's see if you guys are ready for love. Let's see if my cancers are ready for love. I think you guys definitely are. Um, I feel though that a lot of you guys have been in relationships that you felt like were committed and they were everything that you wanted and needed. Um, but I still think that you guys are definitely ready. And so with this Ten of Cups, because you know exactly what it is that you want in someone, but I feel like, you know, there's a need for you guys to, when you meet someone, really kind of get to know them, um, you know, make sure that they are feeling the same way that you're feeling about the connection. And if there's something that is bothering you, um, to definitely let them know that. Okay? So you guys can move past that. Um, if you can't move past it, then first and foremost, guys, you know, love yourself, respect yourself. Okay? And then move on if you need to. Because I definitely feel there's somebody out there for you, for sure. I feel like you guys have already um, been involved with a soulmate relationship as well. Um, but, you know, all soulmates are not meant to be in our life for the duration. Some of them are just meant to um, come into our lives to, you know, help us learn lessons and we help them as well. But I definitely think that um, you have a strong attachment to someone currently that you are trying to um, let go of here okay so let's see how you guys will find love how will my cancers find love i think this is by gaining your confidence that you will do not give up I feel like you guys, you know, if you if you think success, you breed success, okay? And I think this is like knowing that you're attractive, knowing that there are people out there that will want the same things that you want here, okay? Leo energy. Hmm. Let's see what attribute. Oh, okay. Let's see what attributes of um will come in your next partner or that would be beneficial for you we have temperance that jumped out here somebody that is balanced somebody that is willing to work with you somebody that is you know they desire harmony in their life they desire peace and stability in their life as well they have a nice mixture of water and fire here okay I'm feeling like Sagittarius Leo energy here. Let's pull one more card beside Temperance to see the act. Okay, that one wanted to jump out. Yeah, somebody that does the right thing. Somebody that does the right thing, that knows how to make decisive choices. Okay? That knows how to bring a situation um to a close here don't just leave things up in the air somebody that you know will not leave you hanging with the justice and temperance here i feel strong sagittarius leo energy for you guys um is what i'm getting 
saw Leo. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And um, hope you enjoyed. And I will be speaking with you soon.